A narcissist can only do this one thing. Whenever a narcissist interacts with someone, they really only have one option. They have to lie to people. They have to deceive people. They have to deliberately cause them to believe something that is not true. They have to give them a mistaken impression because narcissists have a lack of character. They lack the mental and moral qualities that are distinctive to an individual. They don't believe in anything. They don't have values or principles. So they have to pretend like they have these really strong beliefs, feelings and opinions. Because they see it as though that's what good people do. But they don't really value good people anyway. They take them for granted. They use them for their own personal gain. And then they throw them under the bus. But the narcissist wants to look like they have good intentions. They present an illusion to the world. They're not actually doing anything good. They're just making people think they do good. Because all they really care about is if it looks good to people. Which is why it can be inadequate. It can lack strength and solidity because it's only designed to fool people. The narcissist is very lazy. They don't want to work or use energy. They want to do the bare minimum to fool people. And if it works, it's enough. But if it doesn't work, they don't really care because they also enjoy negative attention especially if it doesn't threaten the illusion because sometimes negative attention can help them it can make it look like people hate them it gives them the opportunity to play the victim role and then they can gain sympathy from other people because other people may believe the narcissist is kind of supportive but if the narcissist is such a good person why do they lack character why do they lack the mental and moral qualities that are distinctive to an individual? The only thing they have, other than their manipulation and deception, is their sense of entitlement, their right or privilege to do whatever they want, they're like a child because there's no responsibility or consequences for their actions but despite everything they do to people they always find a reason to complain everyone around them becomes their parent who needs to do more or needs to treat them better their boss becomes their parent their relationship partner becomes their parent even their own children become their parents. So that the narcissist can then complain and justify their actions. So that they can play the victim role. Because it's very rare that someone will draw attention to their unacceptable actions and behaviour. But it's also an unconscious desire for their own destruction. They're depriving themselves of the ability to function normally, which then prevents them from accomplishing anything great. But they are very active. They're always doing something. They're always ready to engage.
but it's usually the result of some deep-rooted pain. They have to be in control because they're very insecure, which is why they always have to be involved in everything. They're very anxious. They're constantly worried about something with an uncertain outcome or they have a strong desire or concern to do something or for something to happen. They're in all places at all times. They're always watching. They're always listening because they need to have an effect on something. They're always involved in the illusion because they have nothing outside of it, which is why control is so important to them because the illusion is their legacy. It's the only thing they're committed to. The only thing a narcissist can do is manipulate you. They can only deceive you. They act like they're good people but they lack character. They don't have anything. They don't believe in anything. They don't care about the results of their actions as long as it supports the illusion because it appears to be the only thing they seem to value. But even then they don't really value the illusion. They just hold on to it out of fear because they fear being exposed. They're very weak and afraid, which is what they then try to project onto you. It's the reason why everything has to be a game. It's why they constantly have to draw your attention to things that are of little importance. It's why they're very competitive. But they do not care about doing anything good for people. They just want people to think they're good. And they want to one up you whenever they see an opportunity to do so. They want to gain an advantage and a feeling of superiority over you. Because it makes them feel like they have climbed a mountain. It makes them feel like they're this top dog who has conquered you. But even if you ignore it, they will continue to do it because they're getting something out of it. It makes them feel better about themselves. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsfiver.co.uk. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.